big continued focus. Citizens in Bengaluru are set to unite at Town Hall on Saturday, the 27th of August. Residents will agitate and discuss legal recourse, compensation, and more importantly, they demand that the civic body, BBMP or a Brihat Bengaluru Mahanagara Palike, to name big builders and malls which have encroached over storm water drains. And uh, to understand that better, we are now being joined by Sridhar Papisetti of the Namma Bengaluru Foundation on the phone line. Now, Sridhar, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on the Property News and Magic Pricks. Now, tell us more about the gathering that citizens are planning this Saturday to discuss uh, Bengaluru demolition drive. Uh, thank you for uh, inviting us. Uh, the Bangalore has gone through a lot of uh, challenge uh, in the past few weeks. So we are making sure that uh, we, we bring back focus on the key issues of the debate. The first debate is uh, that government has double standards and they have not been fair on everyone. They have been distinguishing between the rich and the poor. The second thing that we are going to talk about is the prosecution of all the guilty officials and builders uh, under all the relevant sections of of all laws. There have been selective cherry picking as far as which laws will be applicable on who in this whole, uh, uh, you know, in this whole accountability issue. We want to make sure that all applicable rules will be uh, applied on the officials who have allowed this kind of impasse to happen. The third will be that uh, the demolition, if is necessary now to set right the balance between uh, sustainability as well as well, well-being of the, uh, of the citizens. And hence, in this case, when demolition is unavoidable, there should be right redressal for compensation through, through just means, either from builders or from various other means. And that's, that's where we would want to press the government to take a more considerate stance for those who are affected. And on all these things, we are going to invite, uh, we have invited uh, some of the ex eminent uh, voices in the city uh, who have uh, been at this for a very long time. We are joined by Gandhian. Mr. H. S. Doreswamy, who will be uh, leading this uh, this conversation, this discussion, this will be uh, along with him will be uh, Sri V. Balasubramaniam, former National Chief Secretary, Government of Karnataka, who had authored uh, a very comprehensive report on the land grab, followed by uh, Mr. A. T. Ramaswamy, who had uh, uh, who had chaired the Joint Legislative uh, Committee, which looked into land grab about a decade ago. In addition, we are going to get a legal uh, uh, eminent lawyer, Mr. Sajjan Puvaya, and uh, Honorable Rajasabha MP, uh, Sri Raji Chandrasekhar, uh, who is also a founder trustee of uh, Nama Bangalore Foundation. We are going to get all these eminent people to come together and engage and discuss with all those people who have been impacted by this and uh, discuss the way forward. All right, Sridhar, uh, can you also list out uh, your demands from Bengaluru's uh, civic authority? Also, any word on uh, compensation for residents who have been left without a roof? Yeah, so, I, so, so we, would like, we would like the government to spell out its own stand on saying, uh, how, how will they do this in a more humane way? Will they go ahead and do uh, cherry picking and be unjust uh, only on a select part of the society? Why have they not had the time to go behind the high and mighty builders who have connived with uh, government officials and uh, encroached a huge swath of the naturally existing uh, uh, the, the, the stormwater drain and the lake network. This was naturally, uh, the naturally existing uh, troughs were converted into irrigation tanks and interconnected system so that flooding does not happen randomly. And it has been a systemic destruction and hence we are getting all people together and trying to make sure that the government acts in a very a very justified and fair manner to everybody. And hence, the demand for compensation will be there on the government and government should spell out its strategy of saying, how will they make sure that uh, gullible and innocent victims who fell prey to such mechanism, there is a political economy that is there which has, which has uh, made this kind of a crisis happen. So some um, uh, innocent victims who have fallen prey to this should also be reasonably compensated by the government, by those people who made who made such kind of a illegality happen. All right. And that's going to be the key demand for us tomorrow. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.